just got good news. Hey everybody, welcome back to House Five Number uh, Part Four. And so today we're gonna get finishing on the inside of this house, so we're gonna fully finish it. So for our stairs, real quick, we are gonna be using. I'll think of it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some tricky questions. Birchwood stairs, I think, is what I'm thinking for this house. So we're actually gonna be pretty. You know, I think the house is gonna look pretty good once we're done. Hey everybody, welcome back to part four or five of house number five. So today we're gonna get finishing on the inside of this house. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using gray wool, light gray wool, and birch wood stairs for everything in this house. So like all the other houses in the series, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna give you guys the room layout, and from there you guys can add in whatever you want. But that way I don't have to worry about interior, which can take several parts. And that way you have the layout for your rooms. So I think what we're going to do is start over with the garage area. And we're actually going to build up our stairs right here since it's already kind of set up for us. And two black gap in between the door and everything. And it's kind of stack up here. You know, just kind of stack it all the way up. And perfect. Just get rid of all the blocks above that you don't need. And boom. Now we have the stairs taken care of already and done, set, ready to go. And then we just kind of take our... Um, our light gray wool and just kind of stack up a wall all the way around the stairs. Now if you want to have it stack all the way up, you can. Or if you want to make it towards own, like a little stair step design going up, you can as well. There's a lot of different things you could probably do. And I'm just going to kind of finish it off up top just like that. Perfect. Our stairs are set there. So next, I want to add in a hallway. In the hallway, I want it to be three wide here. And we're just going to have it come all the way back right even with the stairs. And we're just going to make this into a solid wall. So just like this, stack it all the way up to the second floor. Now on the very first block, I want you to replace it with your gray wool. Now on a lot of the other houses, we replaced it with maybe like green or light blue. In this one, we're using gray to kind of change things up a little bit, add some different colors to it. Instead of using bright colors, we're using a little bit more dull. Uh, just, just to kind of see like how it looks on the interior a little bit and how that kind of changes how everything looks and feels. So we're going to do this throughout the entire house. We have a fireplace set already, in which I can't remember if we made the fireplace already, but if not, this what we did to make it. Pretty simple, I think. So basically, just kind of go all the way around the house. Now, a lot of the stuff I did off camera just because it does save us time, and that way we can get everything done in the short amount of time that we have. And I messed that up. Replace that and so right here you notice that I didn't add any uh, Light gray wool or anything like that. The reason for it is you can kind of tell there's not really the space for it If we did add it, it would cover up a window and I didn't want to do that So we just kind of left it blank But everything else we kind of went around and that's the whole point of adding the two wide windows on the outside and That way so when we get to the interior everything kind of flows a little bit more smoothly, I guess Okay, so we're looking pretty good so our kitchen area definitely needs to be over here by the door. Um, so what I'm actually thinking is maybe we, the kitchen area will go right here. So basically right after this, like where this door starts. So right there I think is a perfect fit for where that needs to go. Our dining room area I think should actually go right here. So if we continue this wall going all the way to the other side, and it's kind of stacked it up. Basically this is one big wall here. But we are going to add several rooms in there. But then our dining room area, I think, should go right here. I think that'd be perfect. Uh, my night vision's running out. Let me take that real quick. Boom, perfect. So what I'm going to do is actually make our dining room area into a three wide, uh, basically like continuing the hallway design a little bit. I'm actually going to get rid of that there, which kind of connects everything. And then our dining room area is, we're basically making it into a full room, but we're also going to open it up a little bit more by just adding and getting rid of different blocks. So just like this, 
but we're still keeping some to kind of still keep it um, open but close at the same time. So just like that, that's where our dining room would go. I think that kind of makes it look a little bit better and gives that open feel, which a lot of people in real life love the open feel of a room and things like that, which I agree. I think it looks really good when you have a open slash closed room and put that one in the wrong area. And these go right here, perfect. Okay, so now we need to make a entrance into our living room because as of right now, we can't get in there. So basically all we're gonna do is just clear a three by four block. Boom, now we're in. Now what I want to do is I want to add in a bathroom over here. So I'm thinking the bathroom can maybe just start right here, right next to this window and just kind of work its way over. And then we can kind of maybe stack this out a couple more blocks and then kind of make a small little office here right for these windows. And I think that'll actually be perfect for everything. It is amazing like in some of these houses, you know, we could have a big house, but then we have less rooms than in a small house. This really depends on how you use your space and that's something I've been trying to work on for a while and I'm still not great at but I think I'm definitely getting better with it to an extent. Okay and then our bathroom goes here and voila so that connects everything together and then what we can even do is just kind of again using pillar designs just kind of change everything a little bit and just having pillars just kind of separates the room a little bit but still opens it up at the same time. So we're going to make a door right here and a door here for our bathroom and can we get rid of this block we can which then opens up a little bit more space for us so voila everything here is taken care of we have our living room area where the fireplace is we have a office right here for the windows a bathroom we then have the dining room area would go here for these windows and then the kitchen would lead off to here and the only thing we have not taken care of yet is the entrance into the garage which the entrance into the garage is how do we want to actually do that maybe we could just make a small little wall here and then boom it kind of maybe connects there or hmm that's kind of tough i'm not sure how i want to do that because i'm sure we could maybe we could even add it here and then have the mm, oh this is tough there's so many tough decisions tough decisions to make hmm that's, a, that's like the only thing I always have trouble with a lot is always trying to figure out where do I want to put uh, the entrance into the garage. Ah, maybe we could just knock out a wall. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything to do for it. Hmm. I don't want to waste time either. That's another thing that's like killing me is maybe we could just have it. Here we go. Perfect. Right underneath the stairs here, we just have another set of stairs that come down. That way we're not using up any of the space that we don't need and we still have the space that we do need. Perfect. All right, that problem is solved. Now for the actual garage itself, maybe just use uh, stone for the floor. Usually I don't really do the garage floor just cause it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to some of that stuff. I probably should use this for that part. Here we go. So replace the gray with all of this. Boop and boop just replace all this real quick and kind of keep that and then there we go and that problem is solved nice and smoothly perfect i'm actually really happy that i thought of that and boom now we have that problem taken care of so our downstairs is done i'm going to go over this again we have our kitchen area right here right next to the big opening to the backyard we have the dining room area in between the pillars we have the living room area we have the office and then the bathroom. So we're set down here. And then let's work our way up. We have quite a bit of space up here as well to work with. So we're gonna have to figure out what we wanna do with all of it. So still continuing the same design with our gray wool. I'm going to just kind of set it around the stairs here, just like this. And I'm thinking the master should go over to the right side. So the master, we're basically gonna have it continue uh, this wall here and just have it go all the way over. It should be right next to the glass We're gonna have the entrance be like right here. I think it'd be pretty good Actually Let's move it away a little bit more and closer to the stairs that way we can actually have a bathroom here Perfect, you know, this house is actually really working out perfectly when it comes to design for the inside at least so far uh, For the master bath. We're actually gonna make the master bath right here right next to the window and it's basically going to stop right here 
So the master bath is pretty big in this in this house, and so we could even make it a little bit smaller if we wanted to to save room for some other uh, save room for some other rooms. Might be the best way to put that. So then we have our master here, a bathroom, and the other rooms. We could actually have a couple of rooms here. Uh, we could kind of continue the theme of this, a two wide hallway. So we want to have this come all the way over to the other side. So what I'm thinking is maybe kind of separate the rooms a little bit, obviously. So I'm thinking maybe a room could go right if we added it in another hallway. I'm thinking a room could go here like this and then another room right here. So we have some pretty big rooms in this house. Um, I'm not sure if I like how big some of all the rooms are. Just because I don't like making huge rooms all the time. Just because I feel like I'm wasting space for everything that you're not going to use. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how I want that to work. Because these are some really big rooms. So maybe what we could even do... Oh, replace that. Is make a small little hallway right here. Now have this come over and connect with that side. So then that's kind of just like an open area. And we have a room here. That's like this. This kind of divides the rooms a little bit more, I think. And then, boom! And then we could even have another bathroom there. Or actually just kind of continue this. Boom! So that actually works out perfectly. So we have quite a few rooms in this house. So what we're going to do now is just kind of... I'm going to just plain add in uh, a couple layers of our light gray to kind of show the outline of everything. Because as of right now, it kind of looks really hard to visualize without the main part of the wall being constructed. So basically that's all we're doing now is just adding this in. And I will tell you guys which one's the master and everything like that. So when you do add in your interior, you do know exactly what to put. And okay. And then we have a couple separate rooms here. Boom. And then we still need to add in our doors. There we go. Now you guys can kind of visualize how everything's gonna look. So Let's go over everything real quick. So basically, we come up the stairs. Okay, just like this. We have our night visions running out. We have our master, which is just to the right of the stairs, like right next to it. We then have the master bath right here, right next to this window, which is perfect. So quite a bit of space to use for our master, which is good. That's what we want. And just kind of continue that. Perfect. And then we come to the left of the stairs. We have the bathroom right here, right next to this big window. Then we need to add in some doors to these other rooms, which is one right here. We have two and then three. And this area here, you can kind of just keep open. Maybe add in a couch or a desk for another little office area. So yeah, I think we're done for this house. So I will see you guys next week for house number seven. No, house number six, excuse me. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this house. I think it does look pretty good in my opinion. So bye-bye everyone.